Hey traders, Tiffany with Tiffany Trades Options here. I just wanted to make a quick check-in video on the trades that I had put on in the account. It's been exactly one week since I put on this Bank of America position and it's already up 66%. Uh, the gain is $61.50. And the IWM position that I put on, oh, maybe two or three weeks ago is also up by 74.3%. The gain on this is about 25, 50-ish or so. Um, I'm going to close these positions today because these are beyond our 50 to 55% um, profit. And then I'm going to think about the next position to open. So instead of selecting the legs and closing at a percentage of profit, I'm going to instead select these legs and just close the positions as is. Right now, the bid and the ask is pretty tight. Uh, this is defaulting to 32 cents as a debit. The mid is 33. I'm just going to lock this in and see what happens. The profit would be $61. It would increase our buying power by $267.71. And that filled immediately. That is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for IWM. The bids and the asks are just a little bit wider. Um, I want to take about two thirds of profit here. So I'm going to lock this in at 10 cents. One might take a little bit longer to work, but that's fine. If we uh, get this filled at 10 cents, then the realized profit would be $25. It would increase the buying power by $89.71. Okay, I'm back and consistent with past videos where I've waited for working orders to get filled. I took a break, I went to the grocery store. While I was away, I got an alert that IWM had been filled. Just take a quick look at the activity. So um, Bank of America was actually filled at 31 cents and IWM was filled at 10 cents. The fees are the same, 29 cents to close the orders, which is not bad. I already entered the information on the Tiffany Trades Options Trades Journal. In total, uh, since March 27th, collected $96.22 in credit and to be honest I think that's pretty cool for about a month's worth of options trading in a small account. So we'll continue to look for opportunities in other positions. It's pretty late in the day on Wednesday. I don't think I'm gonna open anything else today. I always try to keep it sort of in the first half of the day depending on how things are looking. The market's been up today. Uh, there was some good news potentially about the Gilead um, studies and COVID treatment and the market's reacting pretty well to that today. So not the best for put spreads, put credit spreads, but um, we'll keep an eye on it. Earnings season is still in full swing. There are plenty of opportunities to be had in other uh, stocks or ETFs. And I will definitely think about it over the course of the next day and include that in this video as well. The market is down today, which again makes opening put credit spreads ideal or opening naked puts ideal. Um, Twitter had its earnings yesterday, and so far it looks like uh, investors are not reacting favorably to the reports. I don't really know exactly what the earnings results were. All I really care about at this point is that Twitter is having a down day, which makes opening puts and put spreads ideal. This is the chart for Twitter over the last nine months. Consistent with the rest of the market, Twitter had some ups and downs, and recent downs. It's currently in the overbought territory, although it is down today, it'll probably continue to go down a little bit further. Take a look at the three month chart. Uh, Twitter's low was $20, kind of hovering up and down a little bit over the last few weeks. The high on yesterday was 31.50. Um, currently trading 28.96, down 6% today. So I think this is a good opportunity to open up a put spread in Twitter. Um, this account, as I've said before, is small, so I can't really open up a naked put just yet. I don't want to use all of the buying power at this point. Um, but as the account continues to grow, I will show you guys what a naked put looks like in the future. Just have to be a little bit patient with that one. So we'll take a look at Twitter. Twitter has a high IV rate right now, even though earnings have already been reported. And this number will probably continue to decrease over the next few days or weeks as earnings pass. Um, 
And right now, high IV makes selling puts ideal because the premium is higher. So we're just going to take a look at a couple of different expirations and see what's available. Uh, the June 12th weeklies have just been posted, I think today or yesterday. There's probably not a lot of options volume there yet. The bids and the asks look a little bit wide around the at the money. Um, I'm not sure yet if that is the week that I want to trade in. So let's just take a look. 30 to 60 days away. So May 29th is 29 days away, which is not as ideal. So we're going to focus on June 5th through June 19th. So um, I'll take a look at June 19th first. And again, going back to the chart, I'll probably try to open up something around the 25 strike, maybe a little bit higher with a defined risk trade. Okay, so if I opened up a short put at the 25 strike and I sold only a naked put, I would collect 88 cents credit. That's not super great. I don't really think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go up a little bit. Twitter's trading at 28.96. It's down $2.14 today. You know, since earnings have already been reported and investors are already reacting, this is probably about as far as it'll go today. Um, I don't anticipate any further drops beyond this. Might be worth considering opening up a short put at the 27 strike and then defining the risk as always. 24 strike, if we did this, it would let you collect 83 cents credit. If we opened up at the 23 strike, it would let you collect $1 credit. Keeping in mind that this is a $4 wide defined risk put spread, that means that about $300 of buying power would be consumed for this trade. The max profit would be $100. The max potential loss would be $300, which again is $4 minus the credit collected. Let's see what's happening in the other um, expirations. So an interesting thing about weekly expirations is they differ from the monthlies in that they have different strike options. So you can see here that the weeklies for Twitter have um, increments of 50 cents, which I think is pretty cool if you wanted to do like a 250 wide credit spread or, you know, 550 wide or whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, let's see, 27.50, 24.50, so that gets you 94 cents. 28, 25, 95 cents, that's not much better. Decrease your probability of profit as you get closer to the expert, closer to the strike price. So see, Twitter's already gone up a little bit to 29. So I think the lowest I'll go is the 28 put. So June 5th, 95 cents. June 12th, 95 cents. June 19th, 102. The probability of profit for this trade, if we hold it till expiration, is 59% on June 19th expiration. Increases to 61% if you did June 12th. Same thing for June 5th. You know, I have a little bit more time to work with this, so I'm just going to try to collect about six more cents in credit. We'll see what happens here. Um, because this is going to be taking up about $300 of buying power, I think this is the only trade that I'm going to hold for a few weeks. But... If I change my mind, I'll certainly let you guys know. So let's just go ahead and enter that trade and see what happens. Oh, okay. So just notice that this is $3 wide. Um, you collect $101 and then you're only putting up $201.29 in buying power. This is a much better trade in my opinion, and I'd rather do this instead of a $4 wide put credit spread. So again, this is the working order. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one work. I don't wanna force this one to get filled. I will report back as soon as it does though. Oh, that was super quick. That's awesome. So this is a demonstration that Twitter is a pretty liquid um, options play to work around. Uh, you know, If you don't have to wait too long to get in and out, that's really awesome. Um, so again, this is the June 19th expiration. This is 50 days away. The short strike is 28 and the long strike is 25. This is a defined risk trade, which means that if Twitter does something crazy and this price drops completely below both of these legs, then I am protected at the 25 put. So we collected $101 in credit, less to 29 in fees. The total credit collected is 
current total credit collected in the account is 194.93, but assuming that we manage the Twitter position at 50 or 55% profit, then that number will change. Okay, that's it. That's it for me. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this trade or my thought process and putting it on. If you have any ideas or any trade setups that you want me to see demonstrate in the future, please drop them in the comments. And as always, if you liked the content, if you found value in this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.